Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making these fun Squid Game Belgana cookies. I made my own cookie cutters from a soda can, so if you're interested in how to make them, that video is linked down below. Now onto the cookies. It took me a few tries to get the process right, and I will share my best tips with you to make sure you get a perfect cookie from the first try. We start with a small pan. You can use either non-stick or stainless steel like me. Now we add the two heaping tablespoons of white sugar to the pan, spread it evenly on the bottom, and start cooking. Make sure you're cooking on low to medium flame. High heat will just burn your sugar. Be patient and don't stir it first. Only after you see the edges become liquid, start helping the sugar to dissolve by mixing it. I find it easier to use a silicon spatula instead of the chopstick to stir the sugar. We are not going to wait until all the sugar is 100% dissolved. Lift it off the flame, continue stirring it, and add a small pinch of baking soda to the pan. If you add too much baking soda, it will bubble over and will not pour into a smooth cookie. Keep stirring until all the sugar is dissolved and the mixture is a beautiful light caramel color. Now pour the mixture out into two equal sized cookies. You could pour it onto a silicon baking pan or a slightly oiled baking paper. Once you pour it out, you have the option of flattening out with a press like the traditional Korean cookie, or you could just use a cookie cutter right away. I will show you both ways and you can decide for yourself which one looks better to you. In either of the cases, we have to wait for at least 30 seconds before pressing it with the oil press. If you press too soon, the cookie will just get stuck to the press. I am using my metal measuring cup, which I previously sprayed with oil. And after we press our cookie cutters, which I previously sprayed with oil as well, leave the cookies to fully cool off before lifting them. And now I'll show you what it looks like without pressing it first. I made another batch of cookie batter. This one, I doubled the recipe to make all four cookies at the same time. Notice how I'm pouring in the middle and letting it spread into a perfect circle. After this, I'm going to wait 45 seconds for the cookie to start hardening and then press with the cookie cutters. Don't forget to wait at least 45 seconds before pressing with the cookie cutter and make sure the bottom of your cookie cutters are also oiled. And here you are, easy and fun cookies for you to play the squid game. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments.